Investment scams. They're all over the place. They're sometimes disguised as hot tips. What you need to know about them and how to watch out for them. How to protect your money and make sure you're not getting scammed. Let's get into that right now. Investment scams are on the rise, guys. I'm Rob Tatro and a lot of people that come to me talk to me about how they've been scammed or they're talking about how the investment tip that they got ended up turning into something not so good, losing money, complete scams. They're all kind of from the same family. It's individuals taking advantage of other good, high quality Canadians. They want to invest, they want to make money, they might have that FOMO, they have that fear of missing out, they want to participate in investment returns, and you might not know the difference between what a, you know, an exempt market product is, a regulated product, or straight up scam. So let's get into that now. Five things we're gonna look at today with respect to these investment scams, what you need to do to protect yourself and make sure you're not getting taken advantage of. First off, these things typically revolve around an expectation of absurd or ridiculous returns. Remember, think of some good kind of long-term market numbers, anywhere from seven to you know, maybe 11% and some good cycles, maybe more and some bad cycles, maybe less. But that's generally what the stock market has done. You know, the bond market is kind of average, you know, four or 5%. Real estate is average, you know, anywhere from eight to 12. So if you're looking at something that's significantly higher than that, you have to ask yourself, how is that possible? Now, yes, there might be some private deals that you're able to benefit from that are, you know, transparent and are disclosed risk and you're either taking on zoning risk in real estate or you're taking on some other undue risk, which which might push your returns up a little bit. But if someone is promising you 25, 30, 40, 50% returns or doubling your money in a few years, that should be a big red flag to you. How are they generating those returns? What's the end game here? How are they possibly able to generate that much more returns than what the free and open market is bearing? It's a red flag. There's no free lunch. If you're being promised much, much, much higher returns, that has to come with either much less liquidity, much higher risk, or the actual ability to lose your capital. If someone is telling you that there's a guaranteed return, that should be a big red flag. The only guaranteed returns are in asset classes that are guaranteed. Either, you know, GICs have a, a sort of guaranteed underlying component to them. And then there could also be some level of guarantees in various forms of debt or bonds or obligations or debentures. But anything other than that, you can't be talking about guaranteed return. Well, that should be a red flag also. Second big thing you need to watch out for is off the radar investing. If someone is asking you to either subvert forms or the government or use a different name or we're going to put the investments over here or we're going to put them offshore don't worry about it this is all part of the thing trust your gut right if your instinct is telling you that doesn't seem right why would i want to put investments in someone else's name or in some other country or using some other different forms to make that happen or, or why should i send the check to that individual personally those are red flags three check your documentation legitimate investments typically will require prospectus based offerings they might have an offering memorandum the firm will likely be listed. You can check their reputation on CDAR or with the Canadian Securities Administrators. The investment advisor or portfolio manager that's recommending this investment should be licensed with IROC or with CERO or with the securities regulators. You should be able to check their long-term history, their record, have they ever been investigated for anything? Ask these questions. Ask them to provide you with this information if you're unsure. Is your firm a member of the Canadian Investor Protection Fund? Are you licensed by our regulators? Those are key questions that you should be asking. Number four, high pressure tactics. Do you feel like the individual that is trying to pitch you this idea? Do you feel that you're, you're being sold a used car? Do you feel that high pressure that you need to act now, you need to do now you need to do this it's for your let's go let's go do it now if you feel like you're being pressured then it's probably a red flag and it's probably not a good thing take your time don't ever do something under duress or undue pressure nothing could ever be that pressing that you can't take a night or two to think about it you should never make that investment decision there on the spot unless you're absolutely comfortable you've reviewed the data you've reviewed the numbers and you know that your advisor is giving you a high quality product. finally number five ask someone you trust if you're unsure and you don't really know if this is a right move or not ask someone you trust a friend a colleague someone that you think might have a high level of knowledge around this sometimes just getting that second pair of eyes or second pair of ears on an idea can make a huge difference, right? You might miss a few details that someone else might catch, or maybe they'll just confirm or validate how you're feeling. Maybe they'll tell you you're crazy, this is perfectly fine. But regardless, that second opinion, that friend, that family member, never a bad idea to run this by someone else, especially if you're thinking of making a significant investment. All right guys, there you go. If you'd like to book a no obligation consultation to chat about this, these type of investments, or maybe some scams that you think you may have been caught into, go to www.speaktorob.com. 
love to book a chat with you to chat about this. And don't forget, guys, if it's too good to be true, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video.